all right youtube in this video we are going to see how to create the date range slider and you can see it is starting from the date in january 1st 2020 and it is getting incremented one by one that is each day one by one days and it ends today which is 22nd june fine this is a plugin which we will see how to use it so this is a link for the plugin the name of the plugin and the plugin link and this is a source code to follow with me and uh, let let's see what this plugin can offer multiple pointer multiple pointer with fixed position and then the amount we can say you can have anything this can be the price and finally our date fine I have added a CSS and a JavaScript now this is simply the font awesome icon you have you have you need one input type equal to range and you need to specify the ID and this ID you have to use it to initialize the JSR plugin and the min and max it's simply the millisecond starting from the year 1970 and this is this can convert it if you see if you convert you can see it is giving the date January 1st 2020 fine you can see let's convert this and it will give you 23rd June you can see this is the line this is the line 22nd June 2020 and this is the end date fine and this website link I have leave left in the description and if you want to specify some other date and convert to millisecond you can do it here in this link so let me change the end date to my birthday and if you click you will get the millisecond and you have to paste the millisecond on the max and now the June 23rd will convert to September 28th fine now this is incrementing one by one that is each day if you want to make it week you can multiply it by seven this is for the single day you can see 18 19 21 22 23 24 25 fine now to make it single day sorry week you have to divide it uh, multiply it by seven now it's two then nine and then 16 then 23 and so on fine now we will be returning the value in the form of t and dd mm yy fine the grid color is simply the line i have given it white fine thank you so much for listening get the source code in the description to follow along